guys. Pahal Feshkal and Dana on technology problems. <laughs> um, so today we're going to start the second session of Praying for the Saints. Um, so Rabbi Kasha is going to start the session. Um, but before we um, move on, there is a pop quiz in the middle of the class. So right after break, it's only eight quick questions. So we just want to see if you remember anything from the first class. Um, and then if you guys got uh, my email I sent everybody, I had all the notes from the first class. Um, if you didn't get anything, let me know so we can add you to the list and then I can start sending you notes um, and then hopefully PowerPoint too, okay? Um, and then if you guys have any questions, raise your hand so we can bring you the microphone. Okay, thank you. Okay, the Burkat of Yamar and Walaha, Peshim Burke and Mary Gawato for Kadam Yato, Kaltat Hamad Rosayo, Peshim Pira and the Sardano, Shela Yamari, Kaviano, Abadinaya, Akim Go Ito for Tai for Kurdish in the Yaman Alma, Baba Grona or Pusharami, Ami. I do in a session thread and the class of Pay on the thread. Uh, on the part of what we are going to study today, in the saints in heaven concerned about people on earth. Addition in Abishmaya Itakmini Buddhiya. Saints in heaven and their prayers. Addition Abishmaya Isali Buddhiya. Saints hear our prayers. Addition Shami Slavatadiya. How do saints hear our prayers? That is Shabiru Slavatadiya. Jesus Christ intercessor, Marani Shumshika Ile Mesaya, Isale Budiya, communication with the departed, Yaushala Am Anitina Shunir, Kadafi Masak Yaushakla Mane. Session one, worship in a, I think, Marna. Oh, I'm just going to, if you go back to the other one. Okay. You the want to talk about? Yeah, the worksheet that I passed around, only 12 people did it last week, but Lakha just says um, all the Fadisha that people chose as their patron saints, and three people said they didn't have uh, a patron saint, so that's something you can pray for. So I just wanted you guys to see the worksheet. Okay. Uh, saints concerned about people on earth, Fadisha in Afghan, but Nasha in Alakha or Ah. Uh, even though the saints in heaven will be constantly worshipping before the throne of God, yet they will have enough time to pray on behalf of people on earth. We learn from the book of Revelation that the saints in heaven are indeed aware of what is happening here on earth. Marekat Padisha Gushmaya in Abkambudiya Opentina Kamtunus Allah Salwe Sluta وبزغاد المريا لها إن هلا بتكملي باسا ويصالي بديا وأنا بتخازف له كتاب قديشة كتاب جليانا Revelation 7:13 through 14 Revelation 5:9 through 10 Revelation 11:15 through 18 كله so I want one of you one of you just to read Revelation 5:9 through 10 maybe not on all of them. So you were doing good last week. Um, sorry? Revelation 5? Yeah, 5, 9 through 10. How they are concerned about us. And they sang a new song. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain. And with your blood, you purchased men for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Okay, uh, uh, in, in Revelation 5, 8, 10, كل خمنة إطوال قيطارة وبيلاس الدعوة مليا بسمة في نصلوات القديشة. So can you focus on five, eight through ten? Love. And when he had taken it, 
The four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Which are the prayers of the, of the, uh, of the saints. But Zayat Mundaki, you see how they are, they, they are offering the prayers of the saints uh, to God. So, Anamanina, who are these who are offering uh, the prayers of, of of the saints, they are they are the twenty-four elders. Isri Arpaqwa Dikne in a Makruwa Slawat Kadish. Yani An Slawat Kadish any An Slawat Aktun Salwetun Kate Ani Makruna Ka Maria Anaha. So the prayers that we pray for here, the twenty-four elders are hearing them and offering them to God. Ila Ila Khamdi very clear is it clear that or no? They are which were the prayers of of uh, uh, of the saints. Uh, again, uh, we, you can read. Uh, uh, Revelation 11, 15 through 18. And you have the notes, right? You received the notes. We send you the notes. Yeah. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. Eleven. Uh, and the 24 elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your saints and those who reverence your name, both small and great, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Okay, you see that they, they are aware of what's going on here on earth. They said they, the nations were angry. They know that the people here were angry, even though they were in heaven. And the 24 elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign the nations. They, they know what's going on on earth. God is reigning the nation. The nations were angry. And your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and your people, who revere your name, both the great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Destroying those who destroy the earth. They know what God, God is doing here on earth. So, in Abadaya Kulmindi, and they are talking with God on our behalf, and they are praying to God also in behalf of people. So, which one is left? The 12, did you read the 12? No. Read the 12, 10 through then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their life so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. Okay, okay, so, so what we are learning from Revelation 12, 10 through 12 is that, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of, of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God 
and they and they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. He's talking about the people, the Christians, the saints who, who, who died for their faith. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell herein. But woe to you, earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath because he knows that his time is short. So they really, people in heaven, uh, that they know exactly the saints in heaven, the glorified saints in heaven, they know what is going on, what's happening here on earth based on all these references from the revelation. You can read them, you can explain, explain them, and you can, you can go deep in them and you will see what we are saying that that indeed these people are aware of what's going on. The saints in heaven are praying for us. Now, that's what, uh, that means they are interceding for us. Hadisha Gushmaya, Salwina Buddhiya, Midre Guktaut Revelation, Bemari, the Book of Revelation. In the Book of Revelation, we read that the 24 elders who have left the world and worship, worshiping before the throne of God and offering the prayers of the people on earth to God. They're offering the prayer of God like incense to God. We read that 5.8 is talking about that. These 24 elders are offering the prayers of the saints before the throne of God. And, and also the angels also uh, being saints. Uh, angels are saints. Angels are not God. Don't, don't uh, uh, think that angels are God. No, they are not God. They are created by God. God created angels just like God created men. But they are different. They are not like us, physical body. They don't have a physical body. They have a spiritual body. So Malachi'ina breathed alaf til itlu pagra itlu pagra avdiya basra ugarme itlu pagra rukhanaya. Ina upani up Malachi Elena Elena avdet alaf kuldu ka omniscient ya omnipresent litlu akala kulmindi masi odi uina kulduka ina brzaik up an malache kat ina kadishe ina brita salu ina budiya so the angels being the saints in heaven are praying for us can you read the a3 through 4 another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of the saints, went up before God from the angel's hand. Okay, I think, I think there's nothing more clear than this word. That, that the angel of God is offering the pray, our prayers to God. And the, 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 the prayers of, of, of the saints are like the smoke of the incense. Are, are, are presented to God. So in Rabba, Rabba, Ashkara, at a Malacha, Makru, and a Slawat Dia, a Slawat Kadisha, Kamaria Allah, and did Makrout it, Tinna, or Riha Basima and Bisme. So, uh, oh, the, the other one? Oh, five, eight? No, no. Just, uh, yeah. okay. What about the Protestant teaching? So, this is from the book of Revelation. We said that angels are, are they aware of what is go, going on. They pray on our behalf. They offer our, our prayers. The angels, the 24 elders, they are all uh, interceding for us. In a saluya buddhiya. In a mudiyamri protsta. Mudila hamzam tadiyya. According to the protsta's teaching, saints cannot hear us because they are not omnipresent, and that only God is every word, and that is why he can hear our prayers, but the saints cannot. And the Protestant Yemri 
e khulte la salit un sluta ka qadishe sabab qadishe lena akhala ha kulduka le lena akhala kulduka itan qadishe lena akhala qad qad shamil okhin kulduka e ina ala ile kulduka wa ala mas shamil okhin so qamudit un salwe ka qadishe aya hamsamt dalila wal khamdi bayn amr qad lela qassat qadishe garka wa kisli qad shamil qali is not that the case that a saint must be sitting here to hear my voice. No, sometimes I believe people behind the doors, they can hear us. It's not the voice troubles. Oh, voice it nashe, it trouble yawad. Awni liqat masi qalad, shamele qaladiyan. Plus the saints, when they become a saint, uh, in, in, in it go eternity after death, in a, they are you know, they are not under the control of space and time. Kadani lit in space and time, you know. the space there is no space and time for the saints. So it says we hear others talking to us even though we are not in the same space as they are. The reason we can hear the voice of others is because the voice travels. Therefore, the saints in heaven are able to hear our prayers because the, our voice or the voice of our prayers travel to them. Uh, Protestant teaching. Uh, Protestants, Catholics, and most Orthodox agree that the New Testament uh, should uh, consist at least of the 27. The New Testament is 27. In a, uh, a problem eaten with Old Testament, but but eaten problem. But but even a movement at Martin Luther, he took many books out of the uh, of the uh, Old Testament. In 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 the New Testament, ile twenty seven books from Matthew to Revelation. So Achnan, uh, the Church of the East, we accept from Matthew. To Revelation, what Mozili Kadio from last week, O Octawa Dina Driat, Ila Signature, Marder Kaelu, Ila from Matthew to Revelation. So it's canonized, he accepted that book, and we, we, we sell them, we read them, we use them. So New Testament Kadian, Ila from Matthew to Revelation. So Kadana Ate Amr, it's at Madden Kaleham and Abkiliana, that's their problem. Om Dikina Kadbayin Lecha Amrin. That the Catholic Church determined were canonical, but the Protestant Old Testament is lacking seven entire books. In Kazetun, in if you see, if you look at the uh, Catholic uh, Old Testament and Protestant Old Testament, you will see the difference. The, the Protestant uh, Old Testament lacks seven entire books. Shawak Tawe Polpena and a Protestant. Menguktawa diatipe atepta, Menguktawa kadisha, Poltera, Kamuina Polto, Anna Anna Ebet Amrecha Sabadie, Uenina and Nektawe, Electawa Tobia, Tobias, Judas, Wisdom, Ecclesiastes, Sira, Baruch, one, Maccabees, one Maccabees, and two Maccabees, and Nektawe Kulle Poltena. And three chapters of Daniel and six chapters of Esther, and as a Tlaqi Palune at Daniel, Ushta, Eri Palut Esther, Upana Poltena, and Prosta, Eun Galai, leaving them with 66. So Hadia in Hazitun Guktawut, Guktawut, Diatika Atikta at Prosta, Ila Shtishtak Tawe, at Patunikai, Ila Shawitlak Tawe. So we say to Shawadani in a basura, a mudina stilu, mudila fasat, what happened 
Educated people, they should go research how the Mindiane, last supper after the Azi or the Google, why did the Prosa remove seven Akhtamri books from the Old Testament? Modi and Mindiane Kule, Odiru Saksinu, Laharat Khanasha educated, go to 21 century at it, because Khanasha Amari, you know, praying to saints is wrong, just Haman Biu Amar, that's it. وشاوق لا أي تقدر الفشن إلى إلى تلمتة وملبتة وإطلاق صلاة. In the 16th century, Luther reacting to serious tile Luther لقارن كل تile موجودة شقيلة أن كتاب كل فلطيلة خبر دخينا. Why did he took them? هذه خبر دخينا. The Book of Tobit. شقيلة the Book of Tobit من كتاب قديشة. قامو. وسبب أو كتاب. Ile Hayure supports prayer for the dead and the intercession of angels as intermediaries. A waktawa polotla ropile mungtawa kadisha kamu sabab a waktawa ile hayure e hayer ka da tahmanta amal panuta et salit sluta kamu kamite uharbde dana kat malache isali kabudia. In Atan Karne Awa Jarga, Tobi 1212. Achtun, go to Tobi 1212. E Udun Google, Matkunne Tobi 1212, Moile Mara, Marele Hatha, Tobi, you and Sarah pray to the Lord. I was the one who brought your prayers into his glorious presence. I was the one who brought your prayers in, into his glorious presence. I did the same thing each time you buried the dead. And each time you buried the dead, I took your prayer before the Lord. Each time you prayed, I took your prayers before the Lord. That's what Tobit 12.12. So Luther, I'm shakal, 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 so I don't know if it's important or that we should, we should know. Uh, Second Maccabees uh, supports prayer for the dead and intercession of the saints. Opa won Kamshakal. He took that book for one reason, Sabab ile Mara Gamasak Sal Sluta Kamotane, Umara Hadisha Isali Buddhia. Second Maccabees uh, 1514, in Azakhazakh Lemodi Le Mara, <coughs> <clears throat> and the day following Judas came with his company to take away the bodies of them that were slain and to bury them with their kinsmen in the sepulcher of their father. And they found under the causes of the slain some of the uh, donaries of the idols of uh, Jamnia which the law forbids to, uh, to the Jews, so that all plainly saw that for this cause they were slain. Then uh, they all blessed the just judgment, judgment of the Lord, who had discovered the things that were hidden. And so, betaking themselves to prayers, they besought him that the sin which had been committed might be forgotten. So برزایتون سالوی نسلو تمارنا قد انت خیاطت اینا انا ناشتی قیلیلو پیشیم پخلی might be forgotten but the most valiant Judas exhorted the people to keep themselves from sin for as much as they saw before their eyes what had happened because of the sin of those that were slain and making a gathering he sent 12,000 drachmas of silver to Jerusalem for sacrifice to be offered for the sins of the dead. Jumilu Zuse, they gathered money and they sent them to Jerusalem to buy sacrifices and to offer those sacrifices for the people who were killed. Kulli anna madkhitunu gudanna bektawe of 2nd Maccabees. 
uh, of the Marilla. For if he had not hoped that they, that they that were slain should rise again, it would have seemed a superfluous and vain to pray for the dead. Marilla, in Laham and Iwa, at an inamite premi, if Salit is Lutakate ila Kamana Elita, it's vain, it's useless. So they believed that these people were raised, and that's why they prayed for them. So, Upa Waktawa Shpillu, at Hina Amri, Lika Waktawa Kadisha Marele, Salon Sluta Kanashemite. Book of Wisdom. Book of Wisdom supports the teaching that the souls of the just are kept in sure, waiting for the general res resurrection. Yani Anashat in a meetel and in a shuni elena mite, u besparena el moti general resurrection, u katoya yumet judgment kat ate. That's what it says. But the souls of the just are in the hand of God. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and the torment of death shall not touch them. They are in the hand of God, and the torment of death shall not touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And their departure was taken for misery. And they're going away for, from us for utter destruction. But they are in peace. Ina, ina, in peace. And though in the sight of men they suffer torments, their hope is full of immortality. Open kam ainat nashe anna zunzuru anna kadishe margi wargis kot katele ina marila itlu hiwi etkaye abadinae etlameti hisdana. So anna raba ashkara bzaif amin di gudan kawe atkashin ashkis. Book of Maccabees, according to the book of the second Maccabees, Judah had a vision in which Saint Onias, the high priest, shows him Jeremiah, the prophet, now in heaven praying for the people. Maccabees, Judah, vision. It was a dream, a calm, a zile, but many a Romian wea, Saluel Sluta, a Kadana Nashe, at Helebemara, and Onias spoke, saying, This is a man who loves the brethren and prays much for the people and the holy city, Jeremiah, the prophet of God. Jeremiah, the prophet of God, he was dead, and he's praying for who? He's praying for the people and he's praying for Jerusalem. Even now, Niwamita, Ukisha, Gubu. So the book of Maccabees is one of the seven books of the Old Testament that Martin Luther took out of the Bible. Maybe this is something new at the offer. You know, this is what happened. Or oh, oh, even today, that's what they do. Well, what they do, they have to make something different to make you, Akhtamri, hate your church. I love their church. For example, you guys worship me. Okay, we worship God. Of course, it's common sense. I will go to the church that worships God, not worships me. But that is not real. That's not right. That's, that's just they want to make our church look Akhtamri heretic. So you will leave the church and go. And as a matter of fact, it's the opposite. 100% is the opposite. Angels. We learn from the Bible that angels are aware of what is going on in the world. Malache Bishmaya in a Emma Guemba, Bedaya Muile Kaume Lecha Al Ara, even though Anilena God. God is not the only one who celebrates the return and the repentance of sinners, but all those who are in heaven have joy. Those in heaven include the saints. So if they are happy when one repents, why would they not pray for those on earth who are fighting against temptation? They care and are aware of what is happening to people on earth individually. They can rejoice for them when they repent and turn to God. 
So, Modi le mara lecha, malachet beshmaya, bedaina kulcha mendi, kaume le lecha. So, iman chamena katile chataya. When one of us repents and goes to God, the, all, everybody in heaven, the angel, the saints, the righteous people, the Father, everybody celebrates their returning, the returning of sinner back to God. Kulle yodi celebration. So, in ani bedaina, mod achnan. Ana tuwbli utama ani bagdaina. So itim ya oshkala, itim parmeta. How do they, how do they know that here on earth I repent, I accept God? So they celebrate there in heaven. So Luke 15, 6 through ten. Can you read it, please? Um, and when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my last sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Okay. Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Okay, what's happening? Two things. One says, when a shepherd finds a sheep, he calls everybody and says, come, let's celebrate, I find my lost sheep. Now, thus will be in heaven. Everybody will rejoice when one sinner repents. Who's that everybody rejoices? Who are they? Can you tell me who are they? It's not from me. And how, for God's sake, they know that one person repented. Dakhina Badaina. Udakhina in Badaina celebrate Wadena. Who are those people? It's not me, I'm here. So they gotta be the saints who are there in heaven, right? The angels and the saints and everybody who is at the presence of God rejoice, you return, you're going back. Everybody rejoices when a woman finds a lost uh, core. Read Matthew 22, 29, 32. Jesus replied, you are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. But about the resurrection of the dead, have you oh. not read what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He oh. is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Okay, so what, what, what does he say? God, God, here God says, I am the God of Isaac, Abraham, right? The Jacob. I, these people were dead when Jesus said this. They were dead. But he says, I am the God of them. And you know what? I am not the God of the dead. I am the God of the living. What that means? Then Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, then I meet in a chayim. So these people were dead, supposedly according to us. But God says, So the people in heaven will be like angels. Like angels. What that means like angels? So if angels are aware of what's going on, so that means all the glorified uh, saints will be like angels know what is going on. And look, this is very important, even Jesus, about the knowledge of angels. angels in They are not God. And they are not omnipresent, and they are not omniscient. 
لنا آلها ولنا كل كولي ماسي إنا غدي يدي غبريتا أختي أني ديفرنت أني فغرى روخنايلي أخنا فغرى بسرنايلي What is Matthew 18.10 says? Yeah. See that you do not look down on one of these little ones For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my father in heaven Okay, what does he say? If, have you heard about guardian angels? Guardian angel, Malacha Natura. Mahrele, la maslitun al khaman nasure. Sabab, you know what? Malacha, hamma jaykale kam alaha. But you will report the local. But shaki el local. Don't ever, ever, Akhtamri, put these little ones down because their angels are always standing at the presence of God. Well, if my angel is the presence of God, how he knows if you are putting me down? Right? She should, he shouldn't know. He's not God. He's not omnipresent. He's not omniscient. He should not know. But, but the, Jesus himself says, be careful, don't put him down here on earth because his angel in heaven will know and he will report it to God. What else do you want me to say? Huh? Saints can hear our prayers. Angels are not God. They are just like the rest of the creations which have been created by God. They are created beings in a, in a Brita. Thus, angels are neither omnipotent omnipotent nor omnipresent like God. Yet they are aware of what we are going through on earth. Jesus says the guardian angel just like the saints in heaven are aware of our condition on earth. They should know about our condition before they became, become able to guard us. If we despise one of the little children here on earth, their guardian angel in heaven will know about it. Why, why we call them guardian angels? That means they guard us. They mean they protect us. They guard me against what? They guard you against what? They protect you against what? Huh? Against evil, against something. So when, when they see Something is attacking you, they stand between you and him. And they protect you. Here on earth, they protect you. So they know when you are attacked. They know when you are safe. So once you are attacked, they are there to guard you. So And in the same way, when we read of the saints in heaven offering our prayers to God in the form of incense, according to the Revelation 5, 8, 8, 3, 4, we know they are aware of our prayers. How, for God's sake, in heaven, the elders and the angels offer our prayers to God like the smoke of incense if they don't know about it, if they don't hear it. Why do we read the Psalms in the Bible? Why do we read the Psalms in the Bible? Why do we read the Psalms in the Bible? I don't think so. The Word of God is the Psalms. So, I read the Psalms in the Bible. Why do we read the Psalms in the Bible? You know what? The Psalms in the Bible. It's all based on the Bible, based on teaching of 2,000 years, teaching, studying, meditating, medi meditating on the words of God, commentaries of the fathers. Otherwise, we wouldn't do that. Saints can hear our prayers. Saints in heaven do not have physical bodies like the one they had while they were living on earth. Kadisha imantina shanuye litlo opagra di udiokum basra germe. 
It lo ha pagraraba prisha tama. They possess a glorified spiritual body. It lo ha pagrah ira. Ha pagrah ira, glorified ruhanaya. Thus, when they present our prayers to God, they do not present them physically. Iman slawatan makruwe na kadishe kam alaha lenat awa para hallelujah yan sepat elitan kat ham zemi agdi yan palu te kala ina dahina makruwe to God they do not present them physically they do not produce a voice they present them mentally behona la ba parmeta o lishan de shmaya le le lishan de laka upkha وبم شيخو وبملاخ وبالدين صالو يوشابوك غشميا لنا غدي ام بدوري شان دي يرجابوك قد ايتن سبات ولشان او اقدال لا لا اين كل كل الى منتر الى هنا اي بهونا بزغادنا بهونا صالوينا اقرمونا لشان تخدوخينا بهونا قرمونا كل اني they do not produce voice in a they do mentally but if they are mentally presenting our prayers to God, then they must be aware of our prayers. In ani makruven aslawat diyan kam alaha, then they must be aware of our prayers. Garikay parmuyu, hay bishmayu, ha itlu khabra baslawati. B'dayin akat ana salwin slota, yan at salwin slota afkina, kat makruven, otherwise zakhi makruven, mu makruven. So if we say that, these prayers were not directed to them, but to God. Khachmaptati Amri Prosant, you know, anna slawate li waka danna elders, kadanna kadishe, sulye, i waka alaha, karisha ka alaha, directly to God, were not for the saints. If they were for not for the saints, how for God's sake they knew about my prayers offered to God. Dakhi dilu. Illena kadani, kadan kadishe, sulya, قَالَهُمْ سُلِيَّةَ دَخِي أَنِي دِيلُ أَنَا سُلِيَّ قَالَهَا أَوْ تَدَيْنُ قَدْ مَقْرُوِيلُ قَالَهَا So if we say that these prayers were not directed to them but to God, then in that case they are still aware. مِدْرَ إِنَّ أَوَرَ بِدَائِنَا بِالْحَرْسِ دِيَّ أَوَرَ أَوَرَ بِالْحَرْسِ which we we which were not even directed to them. Yet they take them up to God and intercede for us accordingly. I thank them for that. I really thank them for that. The thoughts of the saints. In the Bible, in the Bible, a cloud is the symbol of the presence of God. مارينا يودايا قتايا وقباريا من من إيجيب من مصر بتايا وقعرة قولا بعرف بيوم كلاود خأيوة على هريشة نشير. What that means إيه أيوة إلى نشان بتهديروت على ها. It's the symbol of the presence of God. So the in the Bible a cloud is the symbol of the presence of God. We learn from the Bible that saints are like clouds. Of witnesses surrounding around the faithful on earth. Uktawa kadisha mudi le mara. Uktawa kadisha mara kadisha ina akha aywa khurdiye biyo. Khurdiye benashat al arha. But the saints are like a cloud covering us around us. Well, where is that said? What is a witness? In amrech a cloud ina ka ka. Uh, uh, saints are a cloud of witness. Saints are a cloud of witness. Yani ina aywat sahade. What is a witness? When you go to court, you need a witness, right? Who do you take with you to be your witness? Somebody who is aware of the case, right? He is eyewitness. He has seen it that you did not do that. You did not kill, you did not steal. Somebody else did it. You did not hit the car. So his eyewitness, he sees it, he has seen it, he heard it, and he says, he goes to court and says, Judge, I was there. I saw the accident. And I heard, he did not do it. 
This man did it. So that's what a witness is. So the Bible says, saints are the cloud of witnesses. What that means, in order for a saint to be a witness for me, he must have heard me and must have seen me. Otherwise, he is not my witness. He cannot be a witness. So those people who have, who have present and are in that presence of God, they are uh, saints, those people who see an event taking place, they hear about it and they give witness about everything they have seen and heard to God. This is what St. Paul says. St. Paul, go, uh, in his epistle to Hebrew 12, 22 through 23 says, how can somebody say the saints who are a cloud of witness have no knowledge of the things taking place on earth? Read, read it for us, please. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all men, to the spirits of righteous men made perfect. Okay, so what did you learn from that? It says... You have, can you read it again? But you have, and, and stop when I tell you. Okay. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly. You have come to the city. You have come to the thousands of thousands. You have come to Jerusalem. You have come to continue. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all you men. You have come to God, okay? Yes, continue. The judge of all men, to the spirits of righteous men made perfect. To the spirit of righteous men being perfect. You have come to God. You have come to thousands of angels. You have come to the spirit of man made perfect. Okay, my, my question is this. Who are these men who are made perfect? That we go to them. I am not the one. Because perf there is no perfection on earth. The perf uh, as long as there is sin, you cannot be perfect. Because you will be misled. So litan kamiluta lakha al-ara mara kilo khun kamadi rutat nashi wiye kamil an nashi kamil lena al-ara kushmayena sab al-ara le ma sa kamil sab khayu mahar jarta aqlo akhti kamiluta isharia isharia lakha yo ya kamil bi kushmaya the perfection starts here but we reach the perfection in heaven because in heaven there is no room to sin. So who are these people? You have come to the spirit of men made righteous. Man in Ananashi. If they are not sin, uh, 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 saints. The saints are the spirits of men who made uh, perfect. And how do you go to the spirit of men made perfect? How do you approach God? How do you approach thousands of angels? Well, you will call and a car will come and you sit in the car and you go up to God or to the spirit of men made perfect or to thousands of angels. You can't do that. You can't. The only way you go to the spirit of men made perfect is by prayer. Litka or khakita. But as it is Rucha Dani Nashit in a video camel, Shukman or Hat Slota. Litka or Haki that as it is Allah says, You approach God, you come to God, you come to thousands of angels. There's no other way 
you can go to God except by worship and prayer. Right? So why, for God's sake, is, is a sin to pray for them? For, for, for the people whom the Bible says you come to the spirit of the man made righteous. You come to the God. Why then? Then tell me another way. St. Paul is saying you come to the, to the spirit of man made saints. Show me another way except prayer. I will do that. Do you have any other way? Can you teach me? Is there any other way I can go to the sin, to the souls of these men made perfect? Do you have a way? It looks like Do you suggest how should I go to them? There's only one way, and that way is prayer. And so, so, and this is not me saying, this is the Bible and St. Paul says. And says, St. Paul says, you come to the spirit of the man made perfect. And yes, I come, but there's only one way I can come, and that way is by faith. Is it a sin? Kamani, Salim Badala, Nakhan Khatai? Atiyam al kutu khawa rasayu khayn. Ka'ala, mariya ala. Yes, yes. Okay. The thoughtfulness of saints. The Bible says, we come to the spirits of just men made perfect. Who are those just men made perfect? We know that the trip toward perfectness starts here on earth and ends in heaven. Therefore, only the saints who are in heaven are perfect because in heaven there is no room for anyone to slip away from the path of righteousness. Ask the saints in a perfect. Saints, I mean, nashat ina, the rotet ala dina shunye. Sab khanashat ile khat ile go heaven, le khafekina. There is no faith in heaven. So, so Ali in Anashe perfect, that's what he brought. That's what you read, right? Yes. So St. Paul is speaking uh, to, uh, uh, of us coming to the spirits of just men made perfect. The saints. There is no other way we can come to the spirit of these men made perfect except through prayers. Praying to them means coming to them. Lit kaur khaz kisle shukam por khaslota. Osalez luta pate yani khashta kisle means coming to them. So when we pray to them, they hear our prayers and they present them to God the Father. As we have mentioned earlier, praying to the saints does not prevent us from praying directly to God, which is the center of our prayer life. By praying to the saints, we gain an extra help. Akti iman salwe kha kadishe betla be khayarta. Anai khayarta raba kat ani zimenta minnat sali kha alaha. We ask the saints to pray with us and for us to the farm. Sali minna ukata kabada. So there is a kind of friendship between saints in heaven and the saints on earth. Eaten khayasura, eaten khorawuta. Eaten khorawuta, bilan. Actun saints, the Arab saints in heaven. There is a friendship, relationship, yawashkala, communication. Bilan u bildani. Sab akhran batlabik minna sali minna, musali qadiyan, ani salwena budiyan, kulli anna mindiyan eaten. So we visit the saints in heaven, we talk with them, they hear us, and they come to our aid. So there is no doubt left that those who are in heaven are aware of the condition of people on earth. Can you read it? They will throw dust on their heads and with weeping and mourning cry out, Woe, woe, O great city, where all who had ships on the sea oh, became... Woe, woe, O great city. They know that something wrong is happening here. And they are in heaven. Yeah. Where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. 
In one hour, she has been brought to ruin. Rejoice over her, O heaven. Rejoice, saints and apostles and prophets. God has judged her for the way she treated you. Okay, so let's go to that. Yes, yes. Okay, let's have a call. Okay, uh, is that ready? So the church on heaven and the, and the church on earth. Uh, some denominations believe that the saints have no ability and they cannot tell those who are on earth. Therefore, praying to them is useless. According to the Bible, the militant church and the victorious church is one church. So, Hamzum Khadiya Basit, eat it al ara akhnat, or eat it gushmaya. I hamenech tawa kadisha marele, eat it al ara eat it gushmaya, kha eat There is no two churches, one here on earth and one in heaven. So that means when Margi Wargis died, when Matthew died, John died, St. Paul died, they are not part of the church anymore. There isn't such a thing. The, the militant church, the militant, the Ita Palashta, you are militant church, you fight, you are fighters, you are warriors, you fight with the Satan. Achtun itun Ita Palashta Plashetum Satana. Victorious church, Ita Galbanta ila Ita Gushmaya. Ina Terwe Anne, Ina Ha Church. Mada. Mada, when somebody dies, you cannot say that, you know what? He is not a member of the church anymore. He is not a member of the church. No. He transferred from the church in heaven to church in, uh, from the church on earth to church in heaven. You know what? No. So there's one church, not two churches. And Jesus Christ prayed for the unity of the church. John 17, 20, 21. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you have gave me and that they may be one as we are one. Okay, so one church. Jesus prayed for one church. There is one church. Church in heaven, church on earth. So we learn from the Bible that the church on earth and the church in heaven is one church. There are no two churches. They are not two different and separated churches. One, the church of the dead, and the other church of the living. One church on earth, one church in heaven. One church. There is one body that holds both parts of one church, namely the church in heaven and the church on earth. There are not two bodies, one body in heaven and one body on earth. Paul writes about the unity of the body and how members of the body need each other. Marpol is biktawi le basit kaita. Udahi achnan hadam da pagra snike khaldokhina. Yani mo, achnan tiwuk in eatad bishmaya widu arakaitela, u achnan snike khaldokhina. So that means achnan tik al arras snike khaldanitina bishmaya. Sabkulla niwuku kaita. We all need the help of one another, whether we are on earth or in heaven. First Corinthians 12, 12. The things that mark an apostle, signs, wonders, and miracles, were done among you with great perseverance. How were you inferior to the other churches, except that I was never a burden to you? Forgive me this wrong. 
Now I am ready to visit you for the third time, and I will not be a burden to you, because what I want is not your possessions, but you. After all, children should not have to save up for their parents, but parents for their children. So I will very gladly spend for you everything I have and expend myself as well. If I love you more, will you love me less? Be that as it may, I have not been a burden to you. Yet crafty fellow that I am, I caught you by trickery. Did I exploit you through any of the men I sent you? Okay. Thus, the saints in heaven and the saints on earth are all from one church, the mystical body of Christ. St. Paul is calling the church. Whether in heaven or earth, he chose one, one church and he calls it the mystical body of Christ. So if I am part of the Pagra Ruchanai Dimshika, is there any dead member in the body of Christ? So Pagra Ruchanai Dimshika, we are part. Ephesians 1.22. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church. For the church. Which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in his way, in every way. Okay, so the church, one church, the body of Christ. So if the saints while they were living on earth were members of the body of Christ, the holy church, no doubt after their departure, they will not be separated from the body of Christ because death cannot separate them from the love of God in Jesus Christ. So if the saints, while they were here, they are members of the, of the, of the church, the body of Christ, even after their departure, they will still be members of the church because death cannot separate them from the love of God. So in Qaddish al-Khayi wa haddamat ita, ummin barmote ina haddamat ita, sabab ruh, sabab muta, le maase parish lu, min khubbat ala habim shiikha, le maase. So can you read that? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Okay, so nothing, nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God in Jesus. Not death. Death cannot separate us. So they are members of the, of the body of Christ. Christ. So let's see what the, what the fathers of the church say about the saints. These are some onyate. I translated them from Aramaic into English. Uh, these are, because of the modesty of your manners and the continual daily labor and your love toward the poor, behold, among the saints, the lover of Christ always is your dwelling place. That's from the book of Hudra. Why these saints are uh, uh, their dwelling place is uh, is, um, is in heaven. Why? Why their dwelling place is with the Christ? It's because of the modesty. They were humble people. Manners, behavior, continual daily labor. And your love towards the poor. Buddha behold among the saints. Abu Daha Go Qaddishi, the lover of Christ, and it Mukhiblu Qamshikha, is always your dwelling place. Shopokun ile hammasha tama. That's the reason. That's the people. Because of this, this is what they, they did. Because of these things, their place is in heaven. Not just because they were not good people. The, again, uh, about the commemoration of saints, Dukhran, Qaddish, Qabudi, Nimara. Forever there will be your commemoration, O our Holy Father. We, for example, 
Marzaya, Margiwari, Mariosa. And from one generation to another, your victories, you, O oh, our victorious Father, for you have worked the works of righteousness. Zim again, work. They worked the works of righteousness while they were here on earth. From morning to evening, they never stop living a godly life. And your disciples are following your footsteps. The reason we do the Dukhrana at Qaddishi is so you read about this Qaddishi. How did they live? So what you do, you follow their footsteps. You try to be good man, good manner, live godly life, love the poor, work day and night. That's why we do the Dukhrana. Behold, they are proceed. Behold, they are proceeding as you have taught them. But who are proceeding as you have taught them? Us. Us. We follow their their lifestyle so we can be saints like them. Blessed is the one who exalted your commemoration here on earth and above in heaven. Who blessed is the one who exalted your commemoration? Many ele kat qarre kat ukhran qadishe, yang qarre kadan qadishe. Who made them holy? We say glorify him. Jesus made them. He exalted them. Mshikha qarre qate. Lekh aknan we do qadishe. We can do. We can make nobody qadisha. It's Jesus himself. The souls of the saints praise on behalf of believers. That's another onita, a hymn that I translated from Aramaic. It says, Honor is in the eyes of our Lord God, the death of his pious and the departure of, of his saints, our noble father. It's honor the death of believers. Even if you die in faith, God honors that. Allaha im he knows that he is Kaddisha. Im Yaqur, it's honor. He who, by the spiritual struggle with all virtuous fall and victoriously came out of the arena of the godly strife. You know these saints, they fought a fight? Like St. Paul says, I fought a fight. And now is a crown of victory prepared for me. Plishlu plasha and the Kaddisha. You know what? What did Saint John the Baptist do? He came to her. He said, "You are committing sin. You are taking the wife of your brother, and you cannot do that because your brother Philip is alive." You know what? Then what Herod did? He said, "You know what?" Of his head for saying the truth. Pamartit Duzuta, you had not Mamdana Rishem with Tolas at Mereka, he wrote us back to Kunu Femas for the Kunu Kaye. That's how they fought. Shouldn't we honor these people? Should, do you think God will not honor them? I don't think so. God honors them. God honors you if you do the same, if you follow their footprint. And it says, and he left for us a chosen and virtuous vessel without the blemish, his chaste and respectful body. Those saints, what did they leave to us? They leave their, their, their pure and clean body here on earth. And what else? Behold, his soul dwells with the angels and offers prayer on behalf of our souls. And Marile, Uruchadiya ila minim shikha, usalu ila sluta budhatar diya. So the body is here, the soul is there. And that's why, that's why there are people used to visit the shrines of the saints because of the, 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 the body, the, the, the body is there. And as I said in the first day, uh, remember the bones of Samuel that he, so, 
e të shmuër e nguja mohilu në asha. Ja lëhtët marë polës mohila, po nga nitë të je, ma kuje o në ashe. So, if God, if God wants to use somebody to make him a saint and use him to help others, who am I to say, no, God cannot do that. In Allah, by Amr, okay, Awa, Awa Qaddisha, ili go heaven, Shamiru Slawat da, man in Ana Amr, no, Allah, le maso, le fjallu shura. No, God, you cannot do that. We cannot. If God wants to do something, God does it. Nobody can stop it. If God wants to use somebody to hear my prayers, he will hear my prayers. You cannot say no. You cannot stop it. Again, the Holy Trinity makes the same. The Father whom you kept his commandments and the Son whom you fulfilled his will and the Holy Spirit whom you serve in the list of the modest saints he will, he will exalt you and make you stand on his right hand so that you may every day sing glory unto him. So who made the saint saint? He says, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. They made you saint to stand at the right hand and sing glory. So I cannot say, God, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not your job. Blessed be unto your soul, O our Father, Saint Mar, so and so. For from the womb of your mother, you have been invited to receive the crown of the blessings. Your Lord, who have chosen you and made you the source of aid, will by, will, will, will by your teaching make your sons be called. Again, he's saying something. From the womb of their mother, they were called, invited, you know, to, to, to work the work of God, to be saved. They, they devoted their entire life. Uh, this is one of them. By the prayer of your saints, O Christ our Savior, prophets, this, this uh, hymn tells us who are the prophets, who are considered, who are considered the saints in the Church of the East. In Amr Qadiyya Khun, Maila Qadisha Gwaitat Madar Kham, Ob Tamr. So, Aya Onita Awa, Temur Tena Qad Malfilan, Maila Qadisha. Marina, by the prayer of your saints, O Christ, our Savior, prophets, Dwiya Ina Qadisha, apostles, Shlichat Maran Ina Qadisha, martyrs, Sahda Ina Qadisha, and the doctors, Malpani, like Mara Prim Rabba, who taught the world about Christ, doctors, who labored in the vineyard of your tidy from morning until evening and obtained the good wage of their labor, one denarii of the heavenly blessings. By your grace, O Lord, make us also participants among them in order to become the inheritors of their brave. And along with them, with them we, may, we may be delighted in the throne of light and the blessings that never come to an end. O oh, the Lord of the uh, energetic, energetic one and the father of all the friends of his love, keep our congregation by the prayers of your saints. So we, are, we know who are the saints. We know Manina saints, Ananashina, and also uh, we know that they, according to the Bible, uh, they, are, uh, they are in heaven. Christ who exalted the saints. Again, Christ made them saints. He lifted them up, not me. Christ who exalted the saints, prophets, apostles, and doctors, keep us by your prayers from the demons and the wicked people and from the harvest of adversities. Our pious and holy father who has succeeded and conquered the conquest. Blessed is the Lord who has exalted your commemoration. And in the four corners of the world, behold, your feast is celebrated and the church and her children are singing glory to your Lord who has exalted you. Now, why they are blessed? 
Blessed are you for you have detested the temporary uh, world. Amudina Kadisha Tuwane Sabat Sriwalum Gungisnun Mendaha Alma. They detested, they hated the temporary world. We don't hate it. Who, who, do you hate this world? They hated the world. They left everything, the world, everything for the sake of heaven. Blessed are you for you love the Christ, our Savior. The Qaddish are blessed, are respected because they love Christ. Blessed are you for you hated the honor and the wealth of the world. They left everything, their job, their business, their position. They left, they hated everything. Blessed are you for you travel toward the kingdom by the conquest of your labor. They fought for the kingdom. They, they sacrificed their life for the kingdom uh, of God. And then it says, uh, 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 Blessed are you for you have kept the commandments of your Lord who has invited you to his throne. They, they kept all the commandments of God. Blessed are you for you have fulfilled his will. With Lurazait Allah, they did everything according to his will in good and in perfect love. No, no. In good and in perfect love, they did the will of God. Blessed are you, for you have saved your boat from the ambush of sin. Saved your boat from the ambush of sin, that means they saved their body. That their boat, from what? From the snares of Satan. From what? From the snares of Satan. Uh, uh, blessed are you for you have loved vigil, fasting and prayer. The one it because Mukhablokun Shahar Tausoma Blessed are you for you have kept your faith untainted. They kept their faith unblemished, untainted. Blessed are you for your enjoyment is kept with the saints. Blessed is Christ who has increased on earth your victorious hallelujah. Blessed is Christ. Everything that happened to them is because of Christ Jesus. So Jesus, who a, 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 a man cannot do all these things if a Christ is not with them. These are the people. These are the saints. Okay. So so the saints are not omniscient and omnipresent. Okay? This is very important. Kadisha Lena. Leya pi kulmindi. Ulena kulduka. Akti alaha yate kulmindi. U akti alaha kuldukele. Let's see what we teach. Saints are not God. Kasli. Kadisha Lena Allah. They cannot be present at the same time everywhere. Okay? They, can, they cannot know everything the same way God knows. Of course, they are neither omniscient nor omnipresent. Yet, according to St. Paul, saints in heaven have more knowledge now than the knowledge they had while they were on earth. Do you know St. Paul says? St. Paul says that the angels in heaven, uh, the saints in heaven, they have more knowledge now in heaven than they had here on earth. Okay, can you read that? For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. 
When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Uh, uh, when I was on earth, I used to know like a child. I used to partially know all. Now I used to, uh, now I see Christ face to face, and I know more than I used to know. Now that I am in heaven, Mudila man I do. So Mar Paulus Mudila Mar Akadia. Mar Paulus Mar Elikat Kadisha Gushmaya Bush Yapti Men Iwa Al Ara. The saints in heaven have more knowledge than they were here. Why? Because they see Christ face to face. They see because of the beatific vision that they have. Because they are perfect now, they are common. When they were here on earth, they were not perfect. They were, they were little children. So the saints are aware of our prayers because they have the beatific vision of God. They see God face to face. Can you read 1 Corinthians 2, 9? Indeed, in our hearts we felt the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. Okay, we don't rely on ourselves. We rely on ourselves. But when we are in heaven, we rely on God. Yani our knowledge, I know more now, all the knowledge becomes come from God. So they see in God all of the knowledge they need. So Marie, I will see God face to face. So all the knowledge they need, they can see it work in the face of God. Today, today on, uh, on uh, Facebook, right? Oh, I, I look at a little screen with what exactly what's happening in Australia, in New Zealand, in everywhere. Why? Why? It's not because you have all the knowledge. No, no. Because of that. Uh, the social media is that um, iPhone. Because of the iPhone. The iPhone makes it possible for you to know that what happened in New Zealand, in Australia, in Europe, in Iraq. You don't have that knowledge. You cannot see that. But the iPhone makes it possible. So the saints, what makes it possible for the saints to know what's happening to you is the face of God is looking at the face of God and they can, they can understand everything that's happening. They can get all the knowledge they, they need to know. They don't know everything as God, but they will know the knowledge that they need just by looking at the face of God, at that screen, at the beatific vision. That's what it says. So they cannot know everything the same way God knows. They are neither omniscient nor omnipresent, yet according to St. Paul, saints in heaven have more knowledge now than the knowledge they had while they were dead. So they see in God all of the knowledge they need, all of the knowledge that is necessary for them, all the knowledge they need necessary for them, and so they hear our prayers directed to them by the omniscience of God they become aware of our prayers. By the omniscience of God, they become aware of our prayers, not by their omniscience. Uh, uh, so, uh, though they themselves are never omniscient and can never comprehend the full knowledge of God, there is a big difference between being knowledgeable or knowing many things and omniscient, knowing all things. God knows all things, but the saints know a lot. So, so it's a big difference. They are not. Satan omnipresent. Well, I believe you all are scared of Satan, right? And you all think that Satan is here. 
Satan is there, Satan is everywhere. And Satan knows his prison. My question will be, is Satan God? Is Satan, is Satan God? No. If Satan is not God, then we say only God is omniscient and only God is omnipresent. Satan is so, so many believe that Satan can be spiritually here and there as well. Does that mean Satan is omnipresent? Absolutely not. Jesus Christ in his glorified human body intercedes for us. Marek Mshicha Ile Gushmeya, he woman Yamilet Baba, Salwe Abutia. We say Jesus Christ is in heaven, sitting at the right hand of God, praying for us. So, my question will be Is Jesus as God praying for us? Is Jesus as God sitting at the right hand of God and praying for us? Or is Jesus as a glorified, risen man sitting at the right hand of God? And What's your answer? Well, as God, as God, Jesus is God. He doesn't have to pray to pray to nobody. As God, there's no left and right. There's no left and right. So Jesus actually, as human being, as a risen Lord who died, a crucified, died, a risen, ascended into heaven, is sitting at the right hand of God and praying. So the glorified risen Lord, the glorified man is sitting at the right hand of God Right? So according to the teaching of the New Testament, Jesus in heaven is interceding for us. Romans 8, 34. Who is he that condemns Christ Jesus who died? More than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Exactly, Jarga Pons, Lihamare, Leot, Mitle, Ot, Pemle, Ot, Seklesh, Mayot, Iltiwa, Aunile, Wada intercede for us. Aunile Salwe. The one died, crucified, risen, sitting at the right hand, interceding for us. So, who? The risen Lord. The risen Lord. Man, uh, uh, Lord, Tamri uh, glorified in his human glorified body, Jesus is interceding. Hebrews 7.24. But because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood. Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. Okay, so again, glorify Jesus. Oh, he has a glorified Jesus. Glorified Jesus is interceding for us. So now, now I want to let you know, uh, just so Jesus as a man, not as a God, he, uh, he is a perfect man and a perfect God, don't get me wrong. But as, as God, he did not come down from earth and he left heaven empty. You know? And as, 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 as Jesus, as God, is everywhere. Everywhere. And nobody can, can capture God and crucify him and kill him and put him in the tomb and go up and say that nobody can do so we believe we in the in the Jesus born of the Blessed Mary, perfect man and perfect God is the one who died, suffered, was buried, and he is sitting at the right hand of God, the glorified Jesus Christ. Our that ile ile our henda, achtamri warranty here in heaven. So we have we have a a glorified man in heaven sitting at the right hand of God hearing our prayers and interceding for us. So after the same manner, the saints can be can inherit a glorified body 
and can intercede for us and can hear of uh, our prayers, even though they cannot do that as, as, as Jesus does. But in a, the partially they can do that. Uh, that's what the saints, they have a glorified body sitting uh, in heaven. Communication with the departed. Some people say, you know what? We cannot talk about with the, with the dead people. Uh, the saints are dead, and you cannot uh, talk with them. Uh, it's a sin. Well, this is what the best. We learn from the sacred scripture that communication with the saints who are in heaven is possible, and it's not a sin. Tawa Qadisha Marele, Masa Khamzimach, Manashet, Inashuni. Our Lord Jesus Christ, while he was here on earth, has communicated with Moses and Elijah, who were both gone to heaven. Since Jesus Christ spoke with Moses and Elijah, who were already departed to heaven, then they are not dead, but have transferred from the church of God on earth into the church of God in heaven. And they can by the by the providence of God hear us. So Masih Anna Manna Shatina Shunyam and Lakha El Shmaya Masih Hamzimbach Manudahi Upam Shiha Aktiwa al Ara Akbar Nasha Hum Zimle Min Ilia Umin Mushe. Hum Zimla Minle Kariela Tilo Um Zimla Minle. So I am Anayu Ila Anna Ilia Mushilina Mite in I meet the Dagim Bailu Am Zimle. How for God's sake Jesus can talk with the dead people, with Elijah and with Moses. But so, but the Bible said he 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 had communication with him. And even even the three uh, the, uh, apostles, Peter, John, and James, they saw Elijah and Moses, and they heard Elijah and Moses speaking with the Lord. So. So go to Matthew 19, 1 through 4. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went into the region of Judea to the other side of the Jordan. Large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. Some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his oh, wife? Is it? I don't think that's right. Huh? Okay. No, it's talking about transfiguration. Oh, it's Matthew 17? Okay, sorry. Some, some After, oh, it's Matthew 17, I guess 1 through 4. Okay. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud enveloped him, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Okay, what do you think about uh, Elijah and Moses? Are they dead? No. They were dead. How did Jesus talk to them? He brought them. So, our Lord Jesus is communicating with men, Moses and Elijah, who had died long time ago. Lord Jesus Christ spoke with these two prophets at the presence of Peter and James. They heard their voice talking with the Lord. Our Lord Jesus wanted to teach us that just like Elijah and Moses, those who die in him are not dead, and we can communicate with them in prayer. <laughs> But Malpadian Anna Shetina meet a Guaymanuta, Lena meet in a Kayena, walked over Masitun, and the Mitun Menebuslu. He wants to teach us that they are not dead, and you can communicate with them in prayer. Otherwise, tell me why did he brought them back? 
What was the reason? What did Jesus, what was his point? What did he want to teach us? Okay, so uh, uh, are not dead and uh, uh, those who die in him are not dead and we can communicate with them in prayer. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and Elijah are alive in Christ, but have departed in the body. They departed in the body, but they are living in Christ. In the body. Therefore, they are not dead. Saints in heaven are more alive now than at the time they were on earth. Actually, those who believe in Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are, uh, are dead uh, will be uh, those who believe in Abraham, believe, though, uh, those who believe Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are dead will be reproached, will be blamed. But by Jesus are those who do not know either scriptures or the power of God. Jesus says, God is not God of the dead, but the God of the living. And that should khashwi, but awraham wa ishaq wa yaqo anna mitena in maram bat man khislu bat amar qate alaha lele et mitena alaha al-qaid. So you want to say that, that, that God is the God of, of, uh, of the dead, that's up to you. Up to you, but... I cannot say that God is God of the dead. These people are not dead. People who die in the love of God, they are not dead. Okay? Uh, Mark 12. Uh, Jesus replied, Are you not in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read in the book of Moses in the account of the bush how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You are badly mistaken. You are badly mistaken. You are badly mistaken. What else? I'm not saying. So you want to hear that from the Lord? That's, that's up to you. Yeah. I can't hear. I can't hear nothing. So my question is, um, so, when you are in the city, 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 you are the city, Well, about the dead, I will talk to you next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my topic for the dead. That's not something I can. Okay. Yeah. But one thing I can, I can say from the Bible, the Bible says, the children of God doesn't die. That's the verses I have it for. The children of God are not Those who believe in Christ, uh, even, even Jesus said to Martha and Mary about their brother Lazarus, he said, he, 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 he is not dead. He, he is not dead. Those who believe in me will not die, but he will go from death to life. Man akhal paghri ushata dimmi bitam arqal wa nabiyya. وأنا بت ما قيمنا بيوم أخرى ولدي وعلى آتي إلا شو نيلة من موت الخيال ده العالم. Who is my body and drink my blood will not die but will go from death to life. That's Jesus, not me.